tis the season for holiday travel. Unless you're in France, public transport's been halted for nearly a month as workers protest against pension reforms, and that's frustrating commuters. It's a shame that this deadlock has persisted so long. It's quite bothersome for transport users. The government says the policy changes will provide safety nets like a guaranteed minimum pension for the lowest earners and increased retirement benefits for women to bring them in line with their male counterparts. To guarantee pensions, to finance a high level of solidarity, to take advantage of a rising life expectancy without increasing taxes, the only solution is to work a little longer, as is the case in Europe and everywhere in the world. The reforms will combine more than 40 separate pension plans into a universal points-based system. It will be implemented for those entering the job market for the first time in 2022, but won't affect anyone born before 1975. While workers can still retire at the age of 62, they'll have to work until 64 if they want a full pension or the maximum number of points. Those working in dangerous conditions such as firemen, soldiers and police officers will still be able to retire earlier. The minimum pension will be set at $1,100 a month for those who worked a full career. The workers want officials to delay implementing these changes and the deadlock with the government is taking a toll on businesses which have lost billions of dollars as more and more people cancel their holiday plans. It's bringing us towards death. It's unbearable. We've lost more than 60% of our revenue for December, when we have less than 10 days to go to Christmas. It's really the most important time of the year for businesses, and we're losing everything because of this dramatic situation we're living in. Most of the public transport in the French capital will remain out of service until the end of this month and Parisians may be seeing more protests than fireworks this New Year's Eve. Mubin Nasser, TRT World.